This is a guide on how to mount a Dick Smith MP3 video player, known as a Kobe A87051, in Ubuntu Linux. 1. Turn the device off by pulling the power button towards the power symbol on the side of the device, which means pulling the button away from the word hold until the screen turns off. You should see a Dick Smith logo as the device shuts down. 2. Connect the device via mini USB to USB. If a file browser window opens, then your device is working just fine. If a file browser window does not open and you have no option of mounting the device, you will need to get the system to recognize it as a mountable USB device. 3. Open a terminal either through the application launcher or with the system shortcut Control alt t 4. Run LSUSB in order to detect the device. 5. Locate the line that includes the words Kobe Electronics Corporation A8705 MP3 slash video player. 6. Write down the device ID number containing two sets of four alphanumeric characters separated by a colon. My system gives it as 1E74 colon 4641, but yours might be a different number. 7. Create a configuration file in the ETC mod probe folder by typing the following command sudo gedit forward slash etc forward slash mod probe dot d forward slash kobe hyphen option dot c o n f. Strictly speaking, it doesn't matter what you call this file, but seeing as it is a Kobe device, this is an apt name. Step 8 Type the following line in the empty file using the device ID you recorded in step number 5. Options, space, USB, hyphen, storage, space, quirks, equal sign, and then the alphanumeric uh, sequence, minus 1E74, colon, 4641, colon, MW. This adds a configuration line to the Linux kernel that alerts it to the existence of this device, and will result in it being automatically mounted upon connection via USB the next time you start the computer. Remember that if your LSUSB produced a different alphanumeric sequence from the one that I've provided, then use that instead. Step 9. Save the file and close it. Step 10. Reboot your computer. Logging out will not suffice because you need to reload the kernel and the easiest way of doing so is simply to reboot. Step 11. If you have disconnected the device, turn it off and reconnect it via USB. You should now have access to the MP3 video player via USB and be able to transfer files to and from the device.